Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to compile CTAL library on your own PC. First, you have to make sure that you're running Visual Studio 2017 on a 64 bits Windows machine. Then, install CMake on your own PC. Then, after installing CMake, you have to install Qt5. Uh, since uh, these two steps are pretty straightforward, I will leave the link and the tutorial under th this video so you could follow it by yourself. The third step is to install and configure Boost on your machine. First, download, download the Boost from this link and download the executable file on the website. After downloading it and installing it, we can start our configuration. You should add the directory where you install Boost to your system path. Click on New Environment, Environment Variable and add new environment variable basically you have to just you just have um, add the directories where you install your boost under the boost library directory and boost include directory This is where I install my boost. So I'll add this under the include one. And click on OK. And the same one and the same step for the library one, but to change the directory to the one that under the boost. After this is all set, then we're ready to enter the next step, which is installing CGAL. Uh, you can find CGAL on the GitHub, where they releases their uh, setup program. And after download it, you could just set up by clicking next. I agree and please make sure that you select 64 bits in the setup program. And also you should make sure that you run the setup program under administrative mode. and make sure to click on this one. After the installation, you can uh, go to the CMake and start to configure CMake. Choose this library. Choose this library. as the source code and and true uh, and build a uh, and create a new library called create a new folder called 
go then press configure and please make sure that you select Windows 64 bits here and click finish after the configuration you could see you should see this this window if it turns red then it's all done then click generate after the generate region to find CGAL build and a solution file appears in the build folder and click on this file right click build then you should sit back and wait for the building And if it's succeed, zero fail, zero up to date, zero skip, then you are all done. Then I'm going to show you how to create a CGAL project in Visual Studio 2017. First, search for CGAL Hello World, then click on the first result. Then copy the code in this website. To the to your clipboard. Then create a new C project called Hello World. Or Hello CTA. Empty project without security checks. Then in source file, add a new item. You can name it whatever you like. I will name it as main.cpp and paste the code here. Okay, we could see that it's still there's no CGAL included in this project. First you have to change this to x64 which means 64 bits and then click on right click on the project and open properties window then add additional include library uh, include directories Just copy and paste these four This is basically the place where you put your CGAL library and your boost library. So keep in mind where you put them. And click OK. Then click on linker, general. Then add additional library directories. Also, just copy, copy and paste these three directories here. Click OK. And the final step is to edit the input. So just copy and paste these
into here. I will put this down the video so you could just copy paste, copy and paste here. And then you can see we have already included our CTAL library into our project. But please bear in mind that there's also a DLLs you should copy into your project. DLLs are located in the folder where you install your CGAL library. Click on build, bin, and copy this to here. And, there, and also you should copy and paste auxiliary, GMP, bib, these two DLLs. After these, pro these process, you could uh, start to compile it. If you see these lines, then congratulations, you have already have CGL into your project. Thank you.